Welcome to the Brand Theory Podcast, the podcast for helping you uncover your passion, realize your purpose, and take the aligned action. Together, we're going to prove the theory that when we live our lives on brand, the possibilities become limitless. I'm your host, Danielle Marchesi, branding expert and business coach. Let's get started. Welcome back to another episode of the Brand Theory Podcast, the first one of 2021, the first one of season two. I'm super excited to be here. I know it's been a while. I promise there's an explanation. I've got so many just great things that I want to share with you this year. I've got so many great interviews I want to share with you this year. So anybody who has been interviewed before in the past, in October and November, I batched all of this content. I'm sorry it's been a while (laughs) since I rolled any episodes out. I am going through what I call a growth spurt in the business. Yes, even businesses have growth spurts, growing pains, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm at the point where I'm grateful, super, super grateful to have almost a full schedule and that leaves a little less time for the podcasting and for the free trainings and even social media. I've really been kind of staying off there as much as I can to just kind of try to get to a good place. I'm not sure if I maybe fell behind with the holidays or just kind of lost track of just different growth things that I want to be doing in the business and the things that our clients don't need, aka the things that we do for ourselves in our business, aka the things that grow our business, are typically the things that we feel we need to push off. So that is kind of the period I was in and I'm grateful to be coming out of and again so so grateful to be at that point in my business where I feel like I have too much too much work is that even a thing um I three years ago I would have you know loved to have this problem quote-unquote problem in my business of having too much work when you're just starting out in the business you you even question if you're ever going to get to that point of having such a full schedule with clients and just different things you want to work on and the list goes on and on. The to-do list never ends. When (laughs) you're first starting, you kind of create this to-do list for yourself because you don't know what you should be doing and you're just experimenting. And then all of a sudden you turn around, it seems like all of a sudden you'd wake up and you have a full schedule and you're back to working all these hours and you're hitting the almost burnout, which is exactly where I was. But to avoid that burnout, we're going through the positive growth spurt. So we are adding team members to the business, which is super exciting. And we are creating a new content schedule. We are back to committing to the growth that we want to see in our business. I'm back to practicing what we preach. Really, me sharing the story is just to show you guys that everybody is human and all the stories that you hear of these influencers and these business owners, please know that yes, use them as inspirations, but please know that they have growing pains too. They have these moments too, where they're questioning if they're getting enough sleep, why they're not prioritizing their health, why they're not moving the needle forward because they're so filled with their schedule, so filled with everything else. But we need to also prioritize that me time, that self-care, which I know I talk about a lot. And there are times where I even slip and fall into not doing that as a practice. So this is me recommitting to myself by saying it out loud to you guys that I promise to be here more frequently, more consistently, more often as we move through this 2021 year. So what I want to talk to you about today is how to actually grow your business in 2021. Now, you've heard me talk a lot about branding. Obviously, this podcast is called The Brand Theory. It's going to be a focus. Um, But more specifically, recently you have heard me talk about how your personal brand should marry your business brand and have lots and lots of babies, aka the results you're working towards in your business. I need you to ingrain this into your head. Repeat it to yourself every morning, every night, every time you brush your teeth, when you're making your morning coffee, during the snack breaks you're taking in between episodes of Bridgerton, which by the way, I started and I don't love it. I know I'm like not in the popular belief there, but I don't love it. I I can see how it's entertaining. Absolutely. The costume is beautiful. The characters are cool, but I just can't, I don't know. I don't love it as much as I thought I would, but a friend of mine told me I really need to give it another chance. So maybe I'll do that. (laughs) But anyway, ingrain this into your head that you are what sets your business apart from others in your field. You are your brand. 
You can be the best business coach out there. You can have the best program to offer. You can be the best brand designer this millennial has any ever seen. You can be the best business photographer, the best podcast host on the East Coast, the best VA. But without a cohesive and strong brand strategy, you run the risk of fading into the background. And I know that sounds a little bit harsh, but it really is the truth. Without this brand strategy, we don't know who you are. Now, you may be saying, Danielle, I'm just not the type to get up on my Instagram every day and tell the world what I'm up to. I really don't have anything that exciting going on. And to be quite honest, the pandemic is really working in my introvert favor. I get it. I'm an introvert extrovert, so it really has been speaking to that side of me. (laughs) But here's the thing. Everyone, even you, has a story to tell. And everyone has something about them that others are going to relate to, find compelling, and resonate with. The more we know about you, the more we're intrigued with who you are, what you do, your history, how you do what you do, and what this does is builds that like, trust, and no factor. When your audience feels like they know you and they can trust you, they are way more likely to buy those low offer products, to come to your free trainings, to book the free calls for your new coaching program, to book the free calls for your VA services, to to ask you to be on your podcast. We need to feel like we know you. We need to feel like we could hold your brand in our arms, so to speak. Um, We need to see that personal side of you. And it does not have to be complicated. I want you to break this down to thinking of yourself as a storyteller. Your brand is you. It's your story. People are interested in getting to know you. They're investing in your services, but they're also investing in you. So what I did was I made a list of everything possible that I feel like people may resonate with things that I talk about or have seen in my brand, whether that's on social media, through my program somewhere hidden in the back end, through my email marketing, through different stories I tell, through blogs, through podcasts, anything. I wrote down a massive list of just different things that I feel that I've had conversations with people in the past inside my audience. And especially these are also things that kind of ended up turning audience members into clients. The, again, the more they felt they knew me, the easier it was to get to that yes. The easier it was for them to feel safe and comfortable and confident in investing in me and my services. So here is my list. Hobbies, TV, love life or lack thereof, <laughs> balance between entrepreneurship and family life, eating habits, um, being just a foodie in general, loving Italian food, travel, uh, where I want to travel, where I'm traveling next, what things I'm doing when I'm traveling, books I'm reading, what it was like to tell my mom that I wanted to be an entrepreneur and start my own business, the relationship with my mom and how it's grown, the ups and downs of being a business owner, who I like to watch on YouTube, other entrepreneurs or influencers that I follow or inspire or resonate with, how I've invested in myself and in my business, my favorite clothing, my favorite shoes, where I shop for my shoes, where I shop shop for the jewelry I like, the hiking I like to do, my huge pet peeve for freaking wet socks and how it drives me crazy, my pet peeve for slow drivers, my love for my morning routine and really, really enjoying my coffee, my latest Target haul. It could be anything. I always try to teach that if you don't know where to start with sharing your personal brand, share with start with three things. I've just given you a whole list of things about me that I've either shared in the past, planned to share, shared with my clients on a more one-on-one basis, shared publicly, shared inside my program somewhere, a whole list. So just challenge yourself to create an entire list of just different things about you that maybe your friends like or your friend, your family likes or that you really like about yourself, whether that's hobbies, personality traits, things that drive you crazy, TV shows you're watching. Just challenge yourself to make this massive list and start by picking three things. It doesn't have to be this overwhelming process of sharing yourself in the online space. It can You can really start very slow, but this this, 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 this is the thing that is going to grow your business. The more we know about you, the more we can like, trust, and know you, the more we can put ourselves 
in the vision of what it would be like to work with you. In this online world, I really believe that we thrive, our businesses thrive off of curating those actual genuine connections. So the more we can be ourselves in this online space and break down that wall of being business owner all the time and show our authenticity, what we like, what we don't like, how we run our business. Maybe we're maybe you're really spiritual in how you run your business. Maybe you're it's hard for you to get out of the mentality of all business all the time. Share that because that is part of who you are. That is your personality. Somebody is going to relate to that. Somebody is going to resonate with that. Somebody's going to say, oh yeah, me too. Let me check her out. Let me see what she has to offer. Let me see what he's doing inside his personal training business. It all starts with you. It all starts with your services, yes, but then it all starts with you and what you have to offer us and how you have to offer it with us. People keep coming back to you time and time again or absorbing your content because there's something about you and how you do it that people resonate with. I know you have a story to tell. You have a message to share. You have a mission to fulfill. You have this need to create an impact. And my mission is to help you do that. But this, again, all starts with you. And in order to give you the best support over this next year that I possibly can, I really want to hear from you. I really want to hear what you want to dive into more. This could be more about the personal branding or related to branding, business growth in general, starting business, growing the impact, how to tell the story, starting a podcast, literally anything. Anything you guys want to know, feel free to leave me a comment. Feel free to find me on Instagram, whatever you guys want. I am here for you. It starts with you, but I'm here for you. (laughs) So with that, I will say goodbye. I would love, love, love if you guys could share this episode in your stories, if something about it resonated with you, or if you could leave me a quick review. I would so, so much appreciate that. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. You all enjoy your day. You're all enjoying whatever activity you're doing while listening to this podcast, cleaning your house, cleaning the dishes, going for a walk, doing a little workout reading, I don't know, anything. I hope you are enjoying it. I will talk to you soon.